So next we're gonna um, we're gonna get the belt prepped, and we're just gonna uh, mark the middle. We're gonna mark the where the belt's gonna run through the printer, and we're gonna use the idler as a reference point. So what we're going to do is just take a measurement. I'm just going to actually draw a little line from the middle of the eye of the bearing onto the plate. We're just going to measure that. So we're looking at about 110 millimeters, and we'll just transfer that to the other end. And just draw a center line on the print bed. And we'll use that to actually line up this motor next. So we're going to line that that line that we've just drawn, with approximately with the centre of the of the tooth pulley on the motor. So the motor is going to sit around about there, and we're just going to cut next. We're going to cut some rubber for the motor, and then cable tie it into place. So next we're going to um, secure the motor to the base, and and it's actually. It's actually going to sit in rubber and that stops a lot of the vibrations and noise getting in, into the base of the printer. And so what we've got is some, some old uh, inner tube. This is bike inner tube. Some bike inner tube rubber. And we're going to cut it to the length. We're going to cut a piece to the length of the, the bracket that holds the motor. And then we're going to just cut it open and just the motor inside it. So it sits snugly in between those two brackets. So I'll just move the motor and we'll just Get the get the length. It can be a, a little bit shorter. It's probably not good to have it longer. So you may want to mount a heat sink on the back of the motor. Just cut a piece. Cut it open. So it's got a piece of rubber now. We we'll sit it in there. Let's put the motor in. And it's still a little bit, little bit loose, so I'm going to cut another piece. I've got a, another inner tube. It's a bit thinner. So I'm going to cut another strip. Keep it open, and I'll just lay that inside the thicker piece. Sitting, sitting quite snug, so that's all right. Just gonna make sure the motor sits tight. So I'm gonna cut another thin strip of rubber. So I'll end up with like three pieces of rubber in there. Let's put it inside again. Nice and tight. So put that cable tie back in. Line our, line our tooth cog up again with the center of the center of the base. And 
and secure it. That's a lot more stable. Then just trim off your cable tie. That's the motor mounted. And we're just going to come back from the back edge of the printer. The motor is 70 millimeters. Let's put a little line there and we'll just draw a line across. going to mark the holes so we use the bed clamp as a reference and we're going to drill we're going to drill a couple of pilot holes for the M2 and then drill them out to um, 4.2 or 4.5 mil so we'll start with our M2 2 mil drill bit. And next we're just going to clear, put a M3 drill through these holes because we're going to use a, um, an M4 self tapper. So M M3 drill, 3 mil drill. You can use M3 but M4 is a bit, bit stronger. And then grab yourself some M4 self tappers around 10 mil long matter for a bit longer. So we've got our M4, M4 screws about 10 mil long. Screwdriver and we're gonna, I'm gonna take the bed out, put the belt clamp on. Take your bed out and there's a bit of a burr here so just take a, a thick drill bit or a de-burring tool and just take the burr off. Grab your belt clamp and we're going to fit it loosely underneath the bed. So put it underneath, just put your screw on and don't do it up because we've got to feed a belt through it next. And the belt clamp the teeth should be uh, facing the bed. Next we can uh, put our belt on. You can use any GT2 belt. These, this one, um, we usually buy it in a roll of 10 meters, but we also recycle it. So we, we grab the GT2 belts off the printers, it's a six mil GT2 belt. And sometimes the belt's got a join, and it's, it's preferable to cut it on the join. If you can. So that's, and then we're gonna feed it through halfway. So we just flip it over. The teeth are going to face up, away from the bed, and feed it, feed it halfway. Just bring it over so you can see. So we're going to make the belt um, equal, equal lengths. Just line the ends up. It's a bit longer, so we'll probably trim it later. And then we're going to just keep it secured so it doesn't move. And just do the screws up. We may still need to move it left and right just to get it centered with the idler and the, and the motor. So it doesn't have to be too tight at the moment, just so it doesn't move around. Secured. So now we can put our bed back in. And 
and just see how that lines up. That's looking pretty good. So next we'll get a we'll install the belt clip. So I've just got hold of our um, belt belt clip, one of the belt clips, and we're just going to install it now. The belt we're going to trim it to length later. So what we do to put the belt clip on, we feed the feed the little end piece through the little belt clamp piece. Feed the one of the little uh, rings through. And then do up the, and then fold the belt over itself, and then feed the, and then push the little um, belt clamp to pack up, and so it ends up like that. And then later on, this will clip on, clip on through here, and clip together, so you can just unclip and adjust the belt as to the length required. So we'll just do it at the other end. under the printer to see what the map looks like. So yeah we're gonna have to make it quite a bit um, quite a bit shorter still. So let's take it back and then feed forward I'm gonna feed forward probably about 10 mils on each side. Still a bit loose, but you can see that it's getting getting a lot closer. So I'll probably just do probably two more notches on either end. Let's see how it feels. Use a little bit of force to put it on. That's pretty good. Let's check you got full travel. And that's that's pretty much ready. The belts belts on. It's running pretty pretty true in the middle. Full range. So ready for the next step.